back to entrepreneurship to the right on why in the morning at y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at michelle ashira is where you can find me on all my social in this particular session it's all about baking and cakes so you know what they say about baking if it's a labor it's a labor of love and there's also the analogy that it's always therapeutic you know mentally, physically, and all about that. So in studio, I am joined by Aquilina Ndungo. She is a baker, and uh, she runs uh, her own bakery from home known as Laurent Cakes, yes? Yeah. Thank you very much, Aquilina, <laughs> for creating time to be with us. Thank you. How are you? I'm very fine. You're looking good. <laughs> Thank you so much. So starting us off, yeah, Aquilina, where did this love of baking, uh, where did it all start from? I think it has been in my genes all along. Mm -hmm. You know, my grandmother, she was a caterer. Yeah, so since I was young, I've had interest in cooking, trying out new recipes. Yeah. All right. So how did you learn how to bake now, considering that you, uh, you know, had interest from way back in cooking and everything? So when did you learn about baking? So when I was in high school, mm -hmm. I decided, let me try out baking. Okay. And when I did, <laughs> it was terrible. I used to like get disappointed because mm -hmm. of the rationing and all that. Mm -hmm. Then I decided to do it, uh, to do it professionally. Okay. Yeah. I tend to believe that, you know, one can bake, yeah? You can learn how to just uh, uh, put the right ingredients to get uh, together, follow the recipe to the latter. Yeah. B but how does one know how to, like, you know, give different decoration and design? And how do you keep up with the trends? My goodness, you have to, like, <laughs> follow so many cake houses, you know? Uh -huh. And then in decoration, uh, you have to be creative. Okay. Yeah, you have to come up with the really good ideas because mm -hmm. nowadays it's not, it's not like Kitambo. Yeah, at a, you you get uh, simple decorations, you just do flowers and all that. Mm -hmm. No, you really have to go deep in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you been, uh, uh, you know, baking and uh, how long has Laurent Cakes uh, been operating? I've been baking for the last four years, okay. but Laurent, I started it last year mm -hmm. in November. Okay. Yeah. You know, everyone has a story when it comes to starting their own business, yeah. right? Uh, some were once employed and decided to get into self-employment. Someone was once just from school and decided to just get into self-employment. <laughs> what is your story before Lauren Kicks? What were you doing? Mm. I was actually employed, so for a whole year. Mm -hmm. I I was trained by one of the big cake houses mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Okay. And then after the one year I they decided to employ me. Yeah, I worked so hard at it. I I used to do most of the special cakes. They are a bit different from these other cakes. Okay. The diabetic, the carrot, the fruit cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got so good at it. There are days I could do like a thousand cupcakes or even more. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was it was hectic. All right. Yeah, and I was like, if I'm this good and I'm working for someone else, why not just employ myself and just start my own thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I felt like I'm not getting my worth. Yeah. Okay, so from that point when you have, you've just seen like uh, your value and the, your worth at that particular time and how much you're bringing into the company, so take me through your your line of thoughts. Now you've decided to start something of your own. What was the first thing that you bought when it when it comes to <laughs> a requirement <laughs> in, your, in your line of job when it comes to baking? Yeah, I bought a mixer, mm -hmm. but it was it was a hand mixer, so. Okay. It's not that good. I would actually not advise anyone to get them, the hand mixers. Okay. Yeah, you'd rather even use uh, a muiko or a, or a spoon. Yeah, you just mix, or a whisk. Mm. A whisk is even much better. You just use your hand mm. and mix nicely. Okay. If you can't get a nice mixer. Yeah, because they won't get, they, they don't mix everything nicely. Yeah. What are the major things does one uh, need when it comes to baking apart from the mixer? The mixer. 
So you need an oven, mm -hmm. a really nice oven. There are some ovens, they, they're not that good. Okay. Yeah, they won't cook your cakes nicely. Yeah, some will burn them. So um, the, the nice ovens, you really have to get a nice oven. Mm -hmm. And then apart from that, you have to get a nice person who will be bringing you the ingredients and all that. Okay. Yeah. You just don't go to the, maybe to the supermarket and just get the ingredients. You have to have someone to get them for you. Yeah, because the supermarket is a bit high. Okay. The prices are a bit high. Mm -hmm. But then if you have a person bringing them, it's a bit cheaper. You, you'll save. Okay, so we look at this other person who's bringing you the ingredients. Where do they uh, outsource them? Mostly from uh, the wholesale places or from the companies themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then they distribute. Right. So how did you how did you raise your uh, your first capital to just put into the business? How did you raise your capital? My goodness, it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I started saving. Uh, my salary was so little. I didn't even get uh, a chance to go out, have fun. You know, I would You're really totally sacrifice. Yeah? Yes. Okay go home, like I, I just use the transport and maybe credit. So the rest of the money, I just save it. So I started saving like uh, five, five, five K per month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So w did you have a business plan? Like now he's the Lauren Cakes. This is how we're going to operate. Was there like a business plan? No, my, mm -hmm. my. What was your strategy? My strategy was getting clients first because mm -hmm. you know you can have everything you need for a bakery mm, but then true. you don't have the clients. Mm, that's true. Yeah, so I started reaching out to my former classmates and my friends. I'm like, I'm baking, you guys can order from me. Mm -hmm. And since they knew I was working in the in a, in a bakery, in a, in a cake house, yeah. they were like, yeah, we want to try your cakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I started baking. I, I give it a small twist because I didn't want it tasting like what I was making before. Okay. I wanted it to be special. Something unique. Yes. All right. So I give it a small twist. Yeah, and they were okay. You know, like in every business, there are these guys who like are so loyal. Mm -hmm. They'll buy your cakes no matter the price, no matter what, and they bring more clients. And then there are these other guys, they... They want free cakes. Oh yeah, you especially know. friends. Exactly, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm I'm starting a business, mm -hmm. and I really can't afford to do that right now. Okay. Yeah, so um, I kept the loyal ones. Right. Yeah, so and, and most of them have been bringing back like other clients. Other clients, referrals. Yes. But what was your uh, what was the feeling? Take me through the feeling when you got your first client. It was so amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really did my best, mm -hmm. and uh, I I sold the cake. What was the cake? Which cake did you make for the client? A special vanilla. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, I tell the client, uh, please give me your feedback, and the feedback was positive. Okay. They're like, this cake was really nice, and the decoration too. And I was so happy. You know, when you're a, when you're a chef or uh, you're into cooking, when you've cooked something nice, it comes out perfectly the way you wanted it. You feel like really nice, like you've made it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. So, so okay. it was like the best feeling ever. All right. And then after that, she didn't even take long. Mm -hmm. A week after that, she's calling me. Like, I have another order for you. Oh, wow. I was so happy. Okay, you spoke about something which is very important. That there's a level of fulfillment uh, when you're a cook and just get, uh, you know, positive response from your client. Yeah. Uh, initially, while well, you're still, uh, you know, in schools and also learning the, the ropes in, in, in baking, were there mm -hmm. times that you felt frustrated? Like, <laughs> I wanted my cake to be this way and it just turned out quite the opposite. <laughs> yes, there's even a time I cried. Mm -hmm. I, I put too much baking in cake. Mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Which cake were you making? Uh, I tried rainbow. Mm -hmm. I really cried because it came out badly. And then the taste was so awful. 
yeah it was so bad mm -hmm. all right so what what other flavors do you make apart from you mentioned carrot cake what are the flavors that you make that you know on shelves and they go you know clients just come and just one partic this particular you know i'm sure the uh, particular flavors that your clients are always on demand yeah there's caramel mm -hmm. caramel is full of chocolate mostly the ladies love that mm -hmm. and then there's chocolate there's also zucchini mm -hmm. and then uh, fruit cake mostly the the elders mm -hmm. the elderly guys they do the the fruit cake since it doesn't have too much sugar yeah there's also my vanilla my special vanilla yeah okay. they also love it mm -hmm. there's also marble yeah mostly those are the cakes that sell all right and uh, are they custom made in terms of a client has to tell you what they want prior or do you just make them and they just go off the shelves yes they are custom made mm -hmm. yeah mostly i get orders like a day before mm -hmm. and i cook them okay. i bake them how they want it right. plus the design okay yeah. Does that mean like if I have a certain visual uh, or even a, if I see a picture online I say like I want the same cake as this one and I just come to you at Lauren Cakes and they say I want this particular cake just exactly like this. Does that mean like you can you're in a position to bring my, you know, <laughs> my cake to life? reality. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, what determines uh, your prices for cakes? What are the major things that determine that? Mostly the f the the flavors, mm -hmm. and then the size, then the decoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because most of the time, like vanilla cake can't be the same price with the fruit cake. Mm -hmm. You see, the fruit cake has like a lot of ingredients. Oh yes. Yeah, and then when it comes to the decoration, there's some decorations which are really hectic mm -hmm. and then they're detailed yeah mostly the baby showers mm -hmm. yeah all right let's look at a couple of uh, uh, the cakes that you've made and just you know oh you guys back at home you ain't ready for <laughs> this you ain't ready for this uh, let's see a couple of cakes that you've baked uh, for your clients prior so as we get to see that so all right, you can take us through each of these three cakes and different and their names and uh, the thought behind the deco. Ah, uh, that's okay. Uh, this was for a kid. Okay. Actually, all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was this a birthday? Yes. Party, okay. Yes, the, they're all birthday parties. Mm -hmm. uh, I did um, a bowl orange for this one. Okay. The other one was vanilla. All right. And then you have to like bake two cakes so that you can raise it. All right. Yeah, because one cake reaches around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to raise it. All right, okay. Yeah. And then... Um, uh, another question. Um, <laughs> I have a burning it, question. It's okay. It's what okay. if someone knows how to bake, but they suck at, uh, you know, like, you know, at, at decorating. decorating? Like, how do you come up with these images? And that they edible, like the cartoons? Yes, they're edible. You have to actually mold them with fondant. Oh, okay. Yeah, fondant is the hard icing. You know oh, it. All right. I, I didn't know that. Now <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, it's the hard icing. So you have to use it to. Yeah, to make the models. Ah, okay. Because you can't use uh, soft icing with that. Okay. Yeah, and for this, mm -hmm. this is a picture. And this is uh, rice paper, so it's edible. Mm -hmm. For the crown, the crown is not edible. All right. You just have to buy it. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sure the, the girl was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, will take us through this. Yeah, been 10. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is also rice paper. Okay. Yeah, and that is fondant too. The flavor. Um, I think it was also vanilla or orange. Okay. Yeah. Right. Kids yeah. really love that. This was uh, for a grown up. Okay. Was you can do it for. What was the occasion? For a bridal shower. Okay. Yeah, and you can also do it for a birthday. Mm. Uh, this, oh, this is looks yummy. Uh -huh. It really is. Okay. It's one of my favorite. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have to bake it with Oreo and then the decoration too. 
you will also use Oreo. All right. The so biscuit. What's yeah. the flavor? Oreo. Oreo. Yes. How long does it take to bake this particular cake? Uh, this one took uh, around one hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you let it cool. Mm -hmm. After it has cooled nicely, you can decorate it. It is also raised. These are two cakes. These are two cakes? Okay. Yes. How many kgs? One. One kg? Yeah, you do like two halves. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, for this particular cake, how much will it go for? Ah, that is uh, 2400 mm -hmm. Yeah, because you, you charge like two halves. Okay. Yeah. Is there a down payment that is required? Yes, mostly. How many percentage? Uh, half of it. Okay. Then the rest you can pay later. All right. Yeah. Okay, take us through this. This is uh, the only wedding I've ever done. Okay, I'm so sure <laughs> many more will come. Yes. Yeah, because uh, of the corona and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, this was a friend's wedding. Okay. Yeah, they called me and they were like, I, we have a, a wedding tomorrow. Please, 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 mm -hmm. please do something. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm like, it's okay. I'll sort you out. Mm -hmm. How uh, you're able to work under pressure, that is, that's what I'm getting. Yes. Because delivering for, to, for, <laughs> for a wedding that is happening tomorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to pressure because the time I was working, mm -hmm. like for the four years I've worked there, they do like so many cakes okay. and it was hectic. Mm -hmm. You have to work under pressure and the cake has to come out perfectly. Okay. Yeah. So for the wedding cake, uh, how many cages is that? 15. Uh, that was 15 kgs, okay, because yes. I've seen it straight. It was uh, uh, like uh, 5 kg below, five kg. then 3, then 1. Uh, okay, let's look at TikTok. Yeah. This uh, this cake. Ah, uh, it was actually inspired by TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then uh, a friend of mine was like, can you, can you do this for me? Because okay. I really want a nice cake for my birthday. Yeah, I'm like... Sure. I'm so sure she loves taking <laughs> Yeah, she and does. Ah. <laughs> A lot. Okay. So what was the flavor of that cake? That on uh, TikTok? It was caramel. Caramel, okay. Mm. Uh, real quick, let's go through the first one. Ah, I love this cake. Okay, take me through that. So it wasn't an order. Okay. I, I saw a cake online mm -hmm. and I was like, I want to try this out. Oh, so you were challenging yourself? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it came out perfectly. Oh. I was happy with what I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then I see the bride to be. Yes. Uh huh. So that, that was a bridal. Okay. Yeah. What is the flavor to that? And how many kg is that? Uh, that is marble, two kg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's and around two five. Two. Okay. 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 Then you have the cupcakes. Yes, the mm -hmm. the rainbow cupcakes. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. So what does this entail in terms of uh, the ingredients and the flavor? Mm. They have eggs, mm -hmm. and then uh, they have this special kind of flour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes the cupcakes. Oh, it's not just the normal flour. No, 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 no. Okay. It's not the normal flour. Oh. I usually use. Uh, it's uh it's ready made. You just have to mix it with eggs All right. and oil and mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then after mixing it, that's when uh, you do the rainbow. Mm -hmm. You okay. get your colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just have a little color by color. All right. All right. So, how early should one book you for like a particular event or an occasion? Mostly a day before, mm -hmm. but if you. That is the latest okay. a day before, right. but at times I, I do have ready cakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you really need a cake, uh, you'll just have to take the flavor that I have. But if you want uh, a custom made cake, a day before will do. Okay, so um, you're about to have a cake on set, and uh, Aquilina is going to take us through. <laughs> The whole aspect of design, the flavor, it looks yummy. Thank Thanks. you, I'm stunned. <laughs> so take us to this particular cake. Huh? Mm. And, <laughs> okay, thank you very much, I'm stunned.
take us through this cake and the flavor how many kgs and uh, and yeah the deco behind this this is a half kg uh -huh. uh, the flavor i did uh, my special vanilla uh -huh. yeah okay. and then the the decoration uh -huh. Uh, the theme is wedding, mm -hmm. yeah, mostly ah. in weddings you can just do such kind of design. Oh, right. yeah. okay, okay, okay. Is the, the flower, is it edible? Yes, very much <laughs> edible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you offer classes when it comes to baking? Yes, I can offer classes. Mm -hmm. I've actually done one, mm -hmm. mostly um, we've done online. Okay. Because uh, I can't let guys come to my place. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I've just done one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for so now. But classes, they're ready. All right, so how can people find you on social media and just engage with you if they, if they need classes in baking, if they need uh, to, you know, order a cake, and just take us through where we can find you on social mm -hmm. media. My IG cake handle is uh, Laurent Cakes. Uh, you can find me there. The Facebook one is uh, Laurent Delicacy. I just have this too. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually very crucial, especially yeah. Instagram. All right, yeah. so let's look at um, just winding up, right? Have you ever been in a situation whereby you, you, you sent a client, you know, a cake and they were like no this is not what I actually requested for and how do you handle that situation yes it has ever happened mm -hmm. I was so frustrated uh -huh. so I, I bake a cake uh -huh. and the, it was a birthday party for a young kid oh. yes and the mother was not she was not uh, satisfied with what I did yeah mm -hmm. so how did you handle that situation I I had to bake her another cake. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I wouldn't want that kid to like have a bad birthday because of me. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you do deliveries? Yes, we do because we are an online shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, in town, uh, CBD is for free. Okay. Then any other place, mm -hmm. we charge. All right. So, yeah. give us again for the last time your social media accounts and then we wrap it up and enjoy this cake <laughs> okay laurent cakes uh -huh. on ig okay then facebook laurent uh -huh. delicacy okay yeah okay so laurent cakes across all her her social media handles and you can order and she says anything that you visualize she can bring it to life so order yeah. or then she does delivery for free in cbd so at y254 <laughs> channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social so in this particular session i want to say that you enjoy the rest of your viewing right here on y254 channel happy mashijade and uh who's your shuja <laughs> shuja nani? My mom. Your mom. And my dad. And she yeah. gives all amazing names. Aquilina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll enjoy this cake. Happy Mashija Day to you. Enjoy the rest of your viewing right here on Y254 channel and have an amazing day.